the kitchen, my veggie lovers. Today, we are making a veggie loaded baked potato. So yummy. Do you see how much ingredients we have to put into this potato? Now, I don't know that all will fit in, but we will certainly try. I'm going to start a nice medium pan. So I'm going to put down the butter. This, I'm adding some pimento. We want to season up our veggies and our cream sauce. Some onions. I'm adding the mushrooms so they can start cooking up and taking up some of that flavor. Right. So we're going to mix this up, so I'll it. Okay, so. I'm going to mix this up, the butter is going to melt, start cooking up these ingredients. I'm going to season with a little salt and pepper. So this takes just about two minutes. So our, the edges of our mushrooms get a little brown. That's when I know I'm satisfied with the, with how long they cook. I'm going to go in with only some of the potatoes that we took out. Because we're not going to be able to fit the potatoes and the vegetables. So I'm just going to use some and I keep the other remaining set there for maybe another dish and transform them into something else. So here, my potato is going to take some of this flavor from the onions and the tomatoes. And I don't really mash it, I kind of leave it in nice chunks so it gives the meal some depth. Now I'm going to go in with some cauliflower. Of course, you can use veggies of your choice, and it's totally up to you. Some carrots. Just be mindful as to how quickly these veggies cook up, so you know what order to cook them in. Alright, so I'm going to season this up again with some salt. Sort of season as you go. I'm going to let this cook for another couple of minutes, and then start creating our sauce. Okay, so everything is sorted and seasoned perfectly here. So now we're going to add a little evaporated milk and a little bit of cream. Now if you want to get stuck before the milk and stuff your potatoes and bake it like that, you're more than welcome to do so if you're not into the creamy cheesy stuff. Alright, so now I'm adding some cheese. As much cheese as you would like, a little or lot. <laughs> I say just just make it good. When you're making food, just make it just make it with love and make it flavorful and be thoughtful. And you'll have successful recipes for sure. Alright, so I'm using a mix of cheese because I like to see the little stretch. I like to use a mix of anything sharp, something soft, a little mozzarella, and they're almost there. So my final veggie to add is some kale, and I do this at the end because this is going to quick, cook very quickly, but I really like the green and the color that it brings to the dish. I'm removing this from the heat, mix this all together, and start stuffing my potato shells. What a quick and easy dinner option. Midweek stuff we're dealing with. You could come home from work, set this up, put it in the oven, take a shower, pour yourself a glass or something, and then you're dinner ready. If you need meat, you make a little meat on the side. But trust me when I tell you, one of these will fill you right up for the evening. So we have our potato shells. We've put a little olive oil at the bottom of our dish. I have a little mixed cheese just like we did on, for the filling and I have of course my little parsley for garnish. So we are just going to fill our potato shells, cut them up nice and full. That keel really gave us some, some nice colors in there. Alright, so we fill it. So when that melts, 
know what happens when you chew melt cheese on top of things. How nice and crispy it gets. And a little garlic. So this is going to be our, what is it, dinner? Let's have dinner. Let's call it a nice, like a Wednesday night dinner. That is when this is ideal for. I'm going to fill up the rest of my potato shells and pop these in the oven at 375 until that cheese melts up and that skin in the potato gets crispy and nice. A complete meal in these veggie loaded baked potatoes. Look at this. It's full in already. You can't even miss the meat. If you're a meat lover, take a break, take a break from the meat. This is a great meatless Monday option. And like I said, it's quick and easy to make. You build it up, you pop it in the oven, you let it bake while you take your shower after work, and then come out and you have a nice hot dinner. Let's check out the inside. Look at that. Still nice and moist inside. Veggies intact, looking good. Now I am not going to taste this now to burn up my mouth because if you never had hot potato burn the root of your mouth, you don't want that experience. I've had it rushing to taste things already and we can't have that. So I'm going to let mine cool down before I get into it. Anyway, my lovelies, it's been great spending time with you in the kitchen today. Don't forget, for more details on this recipe, check out below. Also, check out our website. Not to mention, follow me for more fun foodie things on my Instagram, Trini Food Designer Ali. And with that, have a great day. Bye.